So today I wanted to make a video showcasing my dogs first. We foster dogs. This guy's a foster and this guy's a foster. And we have a dog downstairs that belongs to a neighbor. And it's the one that won't shut up in the background. So just the disclaimer, we're not a puppy mill. We foster dogs and they're loud. But the real reason for this video is I wanted to showcase my music room that I record music in. Yeah, see, yeah, yes, 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 yes. So first I thought I'd start with uh, my drum setup. I have an Alessis Crimson II and I have um, access longboard double kick pedal that I use. And I like this setup. Uh, there's some things that I don't like about it, but it it's mostly symbol related. Like the, these deals right here don't grip a hold of the, the tubing as good as they should. These slip every now and then. I usually just fix that with uh, electrical tape. And then, yeah, it's ran through my Eurodesk uh, MX3282 a and it goes into my audio interface into logic on the laptop and then we have my guitar it's a bc rich warlock acrylic obviously um i saw des from black flag and misfits fame playing it when i saw them long time ago and he had a inlay on the inside of his guitar of the crimson skull right here but yeah i fell in love with the way that that guitar sounds and uh so i had to get one and then i like this guitar and it sounds good from my perspective especially since most of the stuff that i play is is really chunky and chuggy it's got like a really deep tone to it but my old guitar, which was an Epiphone Gothic Flying V, uh, flat black, it was made out of mahogany or some shit, and it had a super great harmonics and tone to it compared to this guitar, but it was a Flying V, and I usually play guitar uh, sitting Indian style, so it wasn't very comfortable to play. Um, so yeah, and then... <sighs> All of the guitar parts that I have go through the Joyo Zombie down here. It's a small tube amp head and uh, it goes to the mixer through the headphone jack. Um, the reason it goes through the headphone jack is because the output on it only supports as low as like eight ohms i think so if it is a smaller speaker than eight ohms it just won't play on it um so you can play like a 50 50 watt or 100 watt on it and it will push it um all my pedals i have a whole lot of earth quicker device pedals uh, boss mxr um all of that is played through the back uh, effects loop through the the return i have an mxr mxr 10 band dq i have a metal zone mt2 and it acts as a preamp um distortion so that's why it's plugged into the back everybody said if you've ever watched a metal zone video you know that it sounds like shit if you plug it through the input um I can agree with that. I have it set for like a lot of the highs instead of lows. So it's got more of that high pitched black metal sound. Um, I have a Warden compressor that I use for super long sustains. I have a life pedal. I mostly use that as a boost for the metal zone. So it sounds super thin on top of how thin it was, or the sound that I ha have it making is in anyway. <laughs> uh, and then 
I usually use the life pedal for rhythm parts with the distortion side and the boost side on that going. Um, I have a rainbow machine. It's kind of like a chorus uh, modulation pedal. Makes some really fucking weird sounds. It's cool. I got a digital delay from Digitech. It's seen better days. As you can see, I have knobs broken off. I've dropped it downstairs and shit. Um, replaced the knob with a gun casing. I have an afterneath, afterneath reverb, which makes some super rich sounds. And it, it's really cool. It'll go forever with uh, its reverb capabilities. I have a whammy for pitch harmonics that I can't do by hand on my guitar. Um, I think it's a version 5. And then I have a Holy Grail. And it's just your basic spring hall reverb. It ain't nothing special. I have a Cowboy from Hell back there too, but I don't use it as hardly ever because I ended up not really liking it that much. Uh, I play all this shit through my trainer sometimes uh, when I'm able to be loud. The reason I got the Joyo Zombie is so I could plug it directly into the mixing board and wear headphones and play the guitar and record into the laptop and not bother my family as much. Um, the Fender Rumble 100 is for my bass amps. I have a Rockwood bass that I traded for paintings to a buddy. And then I have this Roadster Series 2 fretless bass that I've had for almost 20 years. And so I think I've had it since I was 19 and I'm about ready to turn 40 next week. So yeah, I've had it for a long, 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 long time. Um, so I have all this set up to be able to record all the nonsense that I make. I have some three different microphones i have this sure sm7b for doing vocals and recording instruments but i don't usually use it for recording instruments because like i said i have to be quiet because my family doesn't need to hear this shit constantly i have this little first act microphone i think it's based off of uh the sure 88 or some shit like that it's one of the most used microphones ever um, it's an all right mic. It's got a lot of high to it. And then I have this really, 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 really old shitty audio technica microphone that I first started recording music with and vocals. I've had it for a long, long time. It's seen better days. But yeah, this is where I make all of my noise. And uh, now you guys know how I, I record stuff and what I record with.